Yo. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Key West, Florida for race number three of nine races in Key West for the 2007 Superboat International World Championships. Also brought to you by the APBA and UIM. The Superboat International Group has done an amazing job of putting together a great facility and venue to hold these world championships again for over 25 years in Key West. John Carbonell and his staff always putting on a great event. Several teams from all over the country, over 70 boats here in Key West for this event. The final race for 2007. There you see on the trip out of Long Island, New York in the Manufacturers One class, they were the national champions this year in the OPA. There are the Jersey Boys, Team Papa Dukes from New Jersey. The 07 is all jacked up from Missouri. Brian Hupp is the owner and driver as Grant Bruggeman from Cooper City, Florida will be the throttle man aboard all jacked up the 36 foot skater. This will be race number three of the nine race series as I said. This will feature the Superboats Superboat Unlimited. There's one of the boats that will be racing today. The US-1 belongs to Tom Abrams. The throttle man is Steve Curtis. This boat runs in the Super Cat 750 class. US-1 signifies they were the national champions last season. This first race will decide the national champions for 2007. 
There you see the cat light of Reliable Carriers, Fountain Racing, number 40, being towed by Reliable, show-winning truck, custom, rock bottom, show winner, number 40. The cat light is owned by Jerry Chastelet, throttled by Reggie Fountain III. There is Team Instigator in the Super V Unlimited class. That is Peter Meyer on top of the canopy, the owner and throttle man. Bob Oliver is the driver. Team White Lightning is the pace boat. It is a 38-foot activator based out of New York. We'll be showing you a demonstration put together by the AMF Rescue Team here inside the outer mole on one of the off days of racing here in Key West. Also being showcased is the new AMF Rigid Hull Inflatable Safety Boat. There you see the rescue divers getting ready to jump out of the Miss Geico AMF Safety Chopper. Safety divers at work here. There is the new rigid hull inflatable Cougar V bottom put together by Geico AMF. Pulling the rescued racer on board on the backboard. Safety AMF Miss Geico Chopper hovers above. Team Cintron Liquid Energy Taste is the difference. Sponsoring a race team here in Key West running in the Manufacturers One class. There you see Team Aquamania G3 number 10 in the Superboat Unlimited class with their 46-foot Douglas Skater. Team CRC number seven, running in the Superboat Unlimited class, Mike DeFries and Jeff Harris. Great flying shot there, Team CRC. US-1 is Reliable Carriers, Tom Abrams and Steve Curtis. J.D. Byrider, the 388 skater running in the Cat 750 class. Mark Kowalski, the throttle man. Tony Mark Antonio is the owner and driver. Budweiser Select. In the Superboat Unlimited class, this is a 50-foot Mystic. Dave Scott is the owner and driver. John Tomlinson of TNT Custom Marine is the throttle man. Team 38 is Warpaint. Bob Vesper is the owner and driver. Ron Roman is the throttle man. This boat rigged and maintained by Kurtz Marine in Brick, New Jersey. Team TNT Custom Marine AMF Offshore Racing S9. Gary Ballou, the owner and throttle man. Paul Whittier, the driver. This team already won this morning in the first race of the three race series in the Superboat Stock Class. Here is AMF Offshore Addiction, sponsored by rsdsupport.com. F-152, it's a 29-foot Warlock. This is Team Still Got It, P-3 class boat. The old guys, John Begovich, Chief Savoring, and Rich Devlin aboard. 42-foot Apache McManus powered by T Custom Marine, 1,000 horsepower inboards. There is the Team AMF Miss Geico Platinum on display. Here is the Miss Geico MTI that the team Mark Granite and Scotty Begovich will be racing this week here in Key West. Number 113.
a custom-made freeze-frame video banner. Special thanks to John Hagen in the United We Race program from his AMF Offshore Racing and Miss Geico supporting every offshore racing team. AMF Miss Geico also having the Miss Budweiser Hydroplane on display in their pit area here in Key West. Miss Geico Racing.com. Geico Gecko making his way around Key West. Team Amsoil number 77, the 368 skater owned and throttled by Bob T. There is crew member Sammy Dial making sure the boat is dialed in. Number 17 is AMF Ladycraft Racing. Kevin Cooper and Brad Johnson will be running this boat in the Super V Light category all the way from California. There is Team BTM Marine. Bill Mazzoni Super Cat MTI. This particular boat has won several championships here in Key West. Here you see Scotty Begovich, throttle man for AMF Miss Geico. There's WHM Motorsports number five, Billy Moff and Jay Muller will be doing battle in the Superboat Unlimited class aboard this 40-foot Mercury-powered skater. Team Nichols with new owner-driver Paul Boudreau from New Orleans. William Moore will be on the throttles. Bringing the Cat 750 class. This team was the world champion last season. There's Bermuda Barracuda S18, a 32-foot Doug Wright based out of Moro, Illinois. Throttled by Dennis Berry. Owned by, driven by Chris Marshall. We're airborne now over Key West. There it is, Trumbo Point Annex in the Coast Guard base right there. Getting ready to go. Race number three of the nine race series here in Key West this week. It is Wednesday afternoon. We are with the Superboat Unlimited class getting ready to go, waiting for the green flag right now. The Fountain Sport Fish Console Pace Boat. The green flag is up and CRC is gone. WHM dropping back just a little bit all the way to the inside. G3 Aquamania side by side with Bud Select. But now Bud Select, Johnny Thomas and Dave Scott push the throttles forward as they accelerate away from G3 Aquamania WHM Motorsports only to chase down Team CRC of Mike DeFries and Jeff Harris in the little MTI that could. Right now Team CRC leading the way towards turn one with the big Bud Select on the outside. Number 11 is Budweiser Select. 50 foot Mystic Cat powered by Big Sterling Inboard. Leading the way with CRC over Team G3 Aquamania and WHM Motorsports. Team G3 Aquamania is a 46 foot Douglas Skater powered by a pair of 1500 horsepower Sterling Inboard coupled to BPM Surface Drive. This team based out of Alexandria Bay New York has done very well this season in the Superboat Unlimited class racing with Superboat International. Greg Rosen is the driver from Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Rick Marola from Brewerton, New York is the throttle man and owner. Battling down the backstretch, caught a glimpse there of Budweiser Select and CRC side by side. You see WHM Motorsports has made their way alongside Team G3 Aquamania. The backstretch normally here in Key West, the roughest section of the course as it is today, but not nearly as rough as it normally is as years pass. Forty-six foot skater battles with the forty foot skater. Jay Muller and Billy Moff aboard WHM Motorsports. Jay Muller is the owner-proprietor of Wicked Custom Marine in Brick, New Jersey. Billy Moff is the owner-proprietor of WHM Plumbing from Long Island, New York. This Mercury-powered 40-foot skater battling with the Sterling-powered 46-footer here in Key West. Rounding turn two as they head into the harbor to complete lap one on race day number one. 
Aquamania now showing the decided power advantage over WHM as they lay the throttles forward, heading into the smoother waters in the harbor. Billy Moth along with wife June Connolly celebrating a wedding anniversary here in Key West as they were married several years ago on the deck of the race boat here in Key West. As they pass the start-finish line, heading into the harbor, past the Hilton in Mallory Square. And WHM Motorsports and G3 Aquamania battling in the harbor turn in Key West. Aquamania giving WHM plenty of room to go on the inside as the bigger boat tries to keep its speed on the outside. WHM doing a great job of gaining the advantage on the inside. A great corner for WHM Motorsports, Bill Moff and Jay Muller. Coming down now on the turbine extreme entry of Miss Geico AMF Offshore Racing. This is number 113. It's an MCI powered by a pair of turbine marine inboards coupled to the BPM surface drives with the rudder steering. Mark Granite is the pilot. Scotty Begovich is the throttle man. And John Hagen is the team owner. Our Jet Ranger 407 having trouble keeping up with Miss Geico at these speeds heading out Key West Harbor. Miss Geico starting in the start behind the unlimited class boats, trying to chase them down at this point. Mark Granite and Scott Begovich doing a great job motoring along here in Miss Geico. cool shot there you can see the rear camera off the back of Miss Geico right there just to the left of the steering wheel there on board Scott Begovich on the throttle Mark Granite at the wheel Turbine, marine turbines really pushing these MTI along. Speeds over 150 miles an hour shown here.
Round in the corner in Key West Harbor right there. Miss Geico, Scott Begovich, Mark Granite, and John Hagen, team owner, making their way around the course. There you see the Bell 407 helicopter piloted by Russell Kilpatrick keeping tabs on the racing action for freeze frame video as he has for many years. Very special thanks to Russell for all his support over the years. Making their way towards turn one, Team Miss Geico 113. AMF Offshore Racing, Scott Begovich, Mark Granite. Coming down now on War Paint, this is Bob Vesper in his 40 foot Apache Michael Peters cat. Ron Roman is the throttle man. The boat is rigged and maintained by Kurtz Marine of Brick, New Jersey. Sponsors include Suncoast Sales and Service, Swipe Bike, and Kurtz Marine Competition Center. Special thanks to Kurt Berger, Jim Dyke, and Ron Roman for all their help in reconstruction and modifying war paint. We'll be looking to forward to a more competitive 2008 season. Bob Barrett Vesper is the driver. Ron Hammer Roman is the throttle man. Kurt Berger is the crew chief. And the manager is Patty Rafa. Ron Roman, the throttle man aboard Warpaint, already won the race earlier today, but was taken away from them due to a penalty. Team Warpaint motoring along right now in the Supercat 750 class. Heading around turn two with Team Warpaint. Heading into the harbor. But Michael Peters Apache running strong in the Superboat class. Team Warpaint number 38, sponsored by Swipe Wipe, Suncoast Sales and Service, and Kurtz Marine Competition Center.
and into Key West Harbor, Bob Vesper and Ron Roman. Coming down now on the Supercat 750 liter, this is US-1 Reliable Carrier Specialized Automotive Transport. Owned by Tom Abrams, throttled by Steve Curtis. This is a MPI powered by Sterling Inboards with Mercury number six drive. Tom Abrams from Northville, Michigan, and Steve Curtis from England. Last year's national champion, the winner today, will be the national champion for 2007 in the Offshore Pro Series. Getting ready to round turn one. This is Reliable Carriers. Making their way to the back leg of Key West. Coming down now on number 45, this is J.D. Byrider out of Ohio. Tony Marcantonio is the owner and driver of J.D. Byrider. He is from Dover, Ohio. Mark Kowalski from Hickory, Ohio is the throttle man. This team sponsored by J.D. Byrider is also sponsored by Tubi Style Exhaust and Weissman Traction Products out of California. It's a 388 skater powered by a pair of CC Performance engines with Weissman number six drives on the back of the boat. Very strong running team. Has had some great runs in 2007 as part of the Offshore Pro Series. Right now, they're doing a great job motoring along, heading into Key West Harbor. Mark Kowalski and Tony Marcantonio. Round in turn one here in Key West. See tight competition in the Cat 750 class. JD Byrider currently running second place right now, just behind Reliable Carrier. This is the final race here on Wednesday of race three of three for the Wednesday where we're going to run nine races this week. We'll be racing three races again Friday and three races on Sunday. 
and free frame video will bring you all those racing races and racing action. JD Byrad running into the harbor turn here in Key West. Second place in Cat 750. Tony Marcatonio and Mark Kowalski. Coming down now on number 57. This is a 44 foot MTI built in 2002. This is Nichols Offshore. Sponsors aboard Nichols Offshore include Ashton Boat Construction, Nichols Offshore, Live Bait, and Antonio's. There you can see reliable carriers going down right there, losing power as Nichols goes by now into second place. That puts JD Byrider in the lead, first place overall, which should allow JD Byrider to capture, capture the national championship for 2007. On board Nichols Offshore, though, we have new owner and driver Paul Boudreau on the throttles, Billy Moore. Joe Phillips is the crew out of Orange Beach, Alabama. This boat is based out of the south, we should say, because the new owner from New Orleans, Billy Moore, lives in North Carolina, and the crew lives in Orange Beach, Alabama. Very successful team with this Sterling-powered MCI. Paul Boudreau doing a great job in Nichols Offshore as the new owner. Team Chili Dog leading the way, second place in Cat 750 class. Running across the back leg here with Nichols Offshore, Paul Boudreau on the wheel, Billy Moore on the throttles. Trying to chase down J.D. Byrider in the Cat 750 class, rounding turns two, heading into Key West Harbor. You can see as they zoom past start finish line right here of the outer mole here at the Truman Annex, Team Nichols Offshore. Other sponsors aboard Nichols Offshore include Atlas Boats and Panther Helicopters. Nichols battling right now with J.D. Byrider on this, the first day of racing here in Key West. Freeze Frame Video would like to welcome Paul Boudreau to the wonderful world of offshore racing and wish him continued success throughout his offshore racing campaign. Nichols also currently second place, doing a great job. Billy Moore, Paul Boudreau.
Looking back now on the outer leg here in Key West as the time runs down here on the first day of racing. This is number 12 BTM Marine. This is a 40-foot MTI powered by a pair of Sterling 750 horsepower inboards coupled to the Mercury number no. 6 drive. This boat is the 2004, 2005, 2006 world champion in the Superboat Cat class. Bill Mazzoni is the owner and normal driver. Mike Siebold is in the driver's seat this week, along with Ben Robertson from South Carolina on the throttle. Leon Woolworth is the crew chief. Adam Canis is the crew. This boat is rigged and maintained by BTM Custom Marine in Delray Beach, Florida. Heading into Key West Harbor, past Fort Zachary Taylor Park right there, and then along the outer mole pier. You see all the fans and spectators gathered to watch this, the third race of nine that we'll be bringing you this week here at Freeze Frame Video. Making their way past Mallory Square. Two former tunnel boat racers, Michael Siebold and Ben Robertson. There you see them on the outside leg right there. Currently running third place in the Cat 750 class team, BTM Marine, number 12, 40 foot MCI powered by Sterling. Heading out of Key West Harbor now, right by Sunset Key. BTM giving chase to J.D. Byrider and Nichols Offshore, which are 1-2 in the Cat 750 class after Reliable Carriers failed to finish. Here comes Bud Select getting ready to go by on the outside, leading overall in this third and final race here on Wednesday. Dave Scott, the owner and driver aboard Budweiser Select. John Tomlinson, the throttle man in the number 11. This beautiful 50-foot Mystic, powered by Sterling 1,550 horsepower inboards, coupled to the Trimax surface drives. Having a flawless run thus far in this race here on the first day. Number 11, Budweiser Select. Owned by Naughty Marine Inc. out of Edwardsville, Illinois. Dave Scott, the driver. John Tomlinson, the throttle man. Sponsors include Budweiser Select and NaughtyBoats.com, as well as Anheuser-Busch, Inc. Dave Scott, the driver, John Tomlinson, the throttle man, Myra Coyle is the crew chief.
First overall in this final race, leading the way around the course, number 11, Budweiser Select and their beautiful 50-foot Mystic Cat. Budweiser Select coming down now ahead of the two 750 boats. Here we are now with number seven. This is Team CRC, Columbia Rim Corporation. Mike DeFries is the owner and driver of this Mercury Racing powered MTI. Jeff Harris is the throttle man out of Greenville, North Carolina. Team CRC is based out of Vancouver, Washington. Very strong running, 40-foot MTI, Mercury Racing 1200s aboard this boat with Mercury Racing number six drive. Team CRC rounding turn one here in Key West. Coming down now on Aquamania Team G3. This 46 foot Sterling powered skater motoring around the race course, eating up the back leg there in Key West. Powered by a pair of 1500 horsepower Sterling inboards with Arnison and Surface Drives, Aquamania Inc. Rick Marola is the owner and throttle man. Greg Rosen from Kingston, Ontario is the driver. Number 10, G3 Aquamania. Motoring into Key West Harbor. Giving chase right now to Budweiser Select. Here you can see Team G3 Aquamania rounding the harbor turn as they go past the Pier House, the Hyatt, and the Galleon Resort here in Key West Harbor. Taking this big 46-foot skater a minute to get spooled up out of the corner there as they go past Sunset Key. Rick Marola doing a great job along with Greg Rusin, the driver, out of Kingston, Ontario, Canada, and Alexandria Bay, New York. Team Aquamania G3. There you have it. That is the end of day one here in Key West. 
November 7th, Wednesday, the final of three races for the day completed. Everybody came home safe. Another great day of racing here in Key West, Florida. Superboat International, APBA, and UIM all bringing you this great racing event. There you see the pit area here at the Truman Annex there. Excellent venue set up by Superboat International along with the APBA and the UIM. In Superboat Unlimited class, David Scott and John Tomlinson brought home the checkered flag with Budweiser Select. Second place went to the 46 Skater Aquamania G3. And Team CRC all the way from Washington finished up in third place. Ducat 750 class was won by Tony Marcantonio and Mark Kowalski in JD Byrider. Nichols Offshore finished in second with rookie driver Paul Boudreau and Billy Moore. BTM Marine comes home third for owner Bill Mazzoni. In the Turbine Extreme class, Mark Granite and Scotty Begovich brought home AMF Miss Geico in first place for owner John Hagen. Another great day of racing here in Key West. Like we said, the third of nine races we'll be bringing you all week from here in Key West. Special thanks to our helicopter pilot, Russell Kilpatrick, for helping us capture all the great racing action here in Key West. We'll see you all with the next event, which happens on Friday here in Key West. Thank you. See you soon.
Thank you.